with Rizzani in the saddle. And they're all in line. Race one, stand by. First of the day in KL and they're off and they're racing it. And Delfstream began fast from the pole and we'll lead initially with D Great Wall and there's Tillsworth Marley charging forward also. Just off the speed, Satellite Genius racing wide Fantasos and Victory Cats back on the rail. Between runners Sharon Star, Pariba, Nova Battle. Greenstone is three wide towards the rear and Elite Rocket last of all as they race onto the long course and on the uphill climb they go below the 1000 marker. D Great Wall now takes it up from Tillsworth Marley outside of Elf Stream. The favourite is perched on the leader's back and they were followed by Satellite Genius Racing Deep Fantasos. From Sharon Star, Paribar is now dropping back. Greenstone's been white from the outset. Nova Battle, Elite Rocket and dropping back to be last year's Victory Cat. They approach the home turn. They're homeward bound. Over 600 metres left to travel here in the opener. And D Great Wall now joined by Tillsworth Marley. Fantaso still coming down the outside. Elfstream is looking for the, the uh, gap between runners. Likewise, Satellite Genius. And Sharon Star is also working into it nicely. D Great Wall now tackled by stable mate Elfstream. But here's Sharon Star, Tillsworth Marley. Satellite Genius, the deepest runner. Elfstream in front of Sharon Star. Satellite Genius is closing fast. Elfstream, D Great Wall, Satellite Genius. Elfstream wants the line badly and hangs on. Elfstream from either Satellite Genius or D Great Wall. Close up Elite Rocket and also Sharon Star. Then Paris Bartillsworth Marley, Nova Battle, Greenstone Fantasos and Victory Cat. Elder Souza has got the favourite home here in the first Elfstream. Holding on from Satellite Genius and also stable mate D Great Wall. And responded well over the last 100 metres. The uh, place getters had their chance. But Lilai gets it home, Elfstream. That's the second career win for Elfstream. And hangs on to win by, I'd say, a neck at the finish. Satellite Genius closed off well. Dig great wall nearer the inside. And the three of them have hit the line together. And close up behind the place getters. I think Elite Rocket or Sharon Star was up there as well. No sign of these numbers at the moment. And uh, Sharon Star should run fourth. Elite Rocket was closing off well down the outside. So Elfstream gets home for favourite backers here in the first of the day. 13 and 8, defeating number... Well, it's still a photo for second and third, resting between Dig Great Wall and also Satellite Genius. But Elfstream got away to a very good start from Barrier 1 before surrendering the lead to stablemate D Great Wall in the early part of the race. Tillsworth Marley was up there early, but uh, she died away over the final stages. Uh, she just doesn't run out 1,400 metres, does Tillsworth Marley. Satellite genius had every chance. He was racing on the speed from the word go. Sharon Star was on his back, so... As you can see, you have to be on the pace by the looks of things, but we've only had the one race down, so we may get a better indication of where you have to be in the run as the afternoon does progress. There's no sign of these numbers here at this stage. It is still eight and a photo. But Elfstream, the winner, a seven-year-old Bay Entire by Elfstrom, who was a very smart sprinter in Australia, out of Lachino, Richard Lyons for the Tivic Stable, ridden by El D'Souza. Those in there for the photo for second and third are number nine, Satellite Genius, S. Rizzani for Shane Edwards and the Satellite Stable, and uh, number four, D. Great Wall, a stable mate of the winner, prepared by Richard Lyons for the D. Great Stable, and ridden by A.K. Lim, and uh, here come the numbers. It is eight, four, and nine. Number five runs fourth. So D. Great Wall has run.